Hi, this is Don Cranfield. We're at the 2016 Ford Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show where we've just run into our old friend Jarrett Manick with O'Bannon Woods State Park. He also does the Snakes Alive program and well here's what he's got to say for us. Yeah, it's glad to be back here again this weekend. Uh, we're here Saturday till 4 o'clock and next Sunday till 4 and uh, we've been doing this coming out here for probably close to 20 years with the Snakes Alive and what we have for you today is probably a dozen different types of snakes that are native to Indiana and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what we got. Um, the, what I'm holding here is the bull snake which is found around northern northwest Indiana. Uh, it's one of our larger types of snakes. It eats a lot of rodents. It will eat birds but uh, often as a burrower and is often unseen because it goes down in those dens of those rodents and uh, ground hogs and ground squirrels that uh, you see out on the on the kind of the prairie areas and, and uh, flat ground. So uh, what different species of snakes do we actually have here in India? I know there's a lot of misconceptions about what we do and don't have. Yeah, we have four types of venomous snakes in Indiana and total snakes. Um, we have about 32 to 36 different type species of snakes throughout the whole state, but only four of those are venomous snakes. And which four are those? Um, of those four, the most common is the copperhead, which is located in southern Indiana, basically all the south. Then we have the timber rattlesnake is south central. It's an endangered species, which means that it is um, very rare to find, you know, located in about a half a dozen counties in south central Indiana. Then we have the Massasauga rattlesnake, which is a northern Indiana rattlesnake, which it's an endangered species also that is very rare to come across. Um, and then we have the cottonmouth, otherwise known as water moccasin, that is very southern tip of Indiana and basically one county, and it's also an endangered species and pretty rare to come across. What are some of the common misconceptions people have about snakes? Most of the time, it's either a black snake or it's a water snake, is what a lot of people say. And, uh, Probably 99.9% .9 of the time when you see a snake in the water, you know, this is being the boat show, you know, people are up here fishing, uh, looking for fishing gear, they're out on the water. Most of the time you come across a snake in the water, it's the common water snake, banded water snake, northern water snake. Um, it is aggressive, but it is harmless. It's not the water moccasin or cotton mouth that a lot of people associate with it. The other snakes is your black snake is a general term is basically there's four types of black snakes in Indiana and they could be either a black rat snake, a black racer, a black hog nose or a black king snake and all those are harmless. Now the rattlesnakes are often misconce uh, mis you know, a misconception because they say, see a snake and they think it could be a rattlesnake also but a non-venomous snake will also shake its tail to act like or mimic a rattlesnake. Um, but most of your snakes that you find in the wild can be aggressive. They all can bite. They all have teeth. And the best thing to do is just leave it alone. Um, just like any wild animal, if you come across it, it's going to want its own space and own respect. And if you antagonize it in any way, it's going to try to defend itself. And there you have it. There's some of the uh, more common facts about snakes in Indiana. For Wild Indiana, I'm Don Cranfield. Thank you.